Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're checking out an ISDT 8 amp mini portable charger. Now these things are great because they're super small. You can take them out in the field with you. You don't have to bring a generator. You don't have to have a power outlet. All you need to do is have a large capacity battery for its main power and then you can charge your little batteries. So this would be great for somebody that's into like racing quads that has a bunch of like 1300 MAH or so, like 4S batteries, 3S batteries. And all you need to do is take this charger, take a big old brick like this with you and charge up a bunch of your batteries in the field. So what we're gonna do today is unbox this, inspect it, show how it all works and then give kind of a pros and cons at the end and tell you what I thought about it. I will have the link for this guy down in the description so don't forget to check that link if you're interested in more specs and the current pricing. I think it's a really compact and nice charger so far from what I see but let's go ahead and unbox it and see it in depth. That's kind of the front of the charger how it looks and just taking off the top we have the kind of the instruction manual a really quick easy instruction manual and here's the charger itself very simple, nothing else in the box. You actually don't get any cabling whatsoever. It's just the charger. It does have this film on the front that says changes starts here. And it kind of tells you uh, what this knob is. Now there is only one button on this thing. It's a knob that spins and it also pushes in. So there's no other controls on this entire charger. You've got a power input here. You can do 9 to 32 volts, so you can either use like an adapter for your wall if you did want to have it as your charger at home, or it's perfect for LiPo batteries to power this thing. On the other side here, we have a 2 to 6S port here, so you can charge 2 to 6S batteries, and then this is where you're going to plug in your battery with, and it uses these XT60 connectors throughout. This one does have a fan in the bottom, so that fan's going to kick on when it starts heating up. And really, that's all there is to it. Nothing else to it. Let's go ahead and get this uh, front little protective thing off here if we can, because we don't need to see that anymore. All right, cool. So nice looking charger. Let's go ahead and power this thing up and see how it works. So for its uh, power, I'm going to be using this 16,000 mAh LiPo brick that I got when I was testing an XKX500 quadcopter. This seemed to be a little bit too much for it, but it'd be perfect for something like this. Charge this up, take it with you in the field. You'll get a bunch of charges on these smaller batteries and use this as the power source. So all we do is we plug this into the back of the charger here. And the charger immediately kind of boots up. And here's what we're seeing on the charger. So we have the amperage and milliamp hour that the charger is charging a battery if we wanted to start charging a battery. And then this dial kind of goes through all the cells in a battery. And then we have, while it's charging, we can see that. We flip up here, we can see that our input voltage you can see the arrow going down that's our input is 16.7 and that's going to be our output voltage here which is currently zero because we don't have a battery hooked up and then we have our temperature there of the unit one more click up and it gets us to the voltage for each cell so that's all we can see now those two different menu items since we don't have a battery plugged in once we go ahead and plug in a battery, by the way, you don't have to use a battery this big. This is also another 4S battery. This is a 5200, so you could effectively get about four or so charges on a small battery like this from a large battery like that. Anyway, so let's plug in the battery we want to charge. So we're just plugging into the XT60 port and also plugging into the balance port here. There we go. Just want to make sure you see how it's labeled negative on one side. Okay, now if we look at the screen, we can immediately see that it's telling us we have a 15.2 volts in that battery. And if we go ahead and dial this thing up, now we see the voltage of each cell. So we've got four cells here, 3.81, 3.80, 3.81, and 3.80. So it's a pretty well balanced cell. And then if we wanna start charging, we just click this button in here on the right side. And it's gonna give us a couple options. So we can immediately start we can go to our current. This will do a maximum of eight amps of current. You can see there, it automatically detects it's a 4S battery, so it's not gonna charge anything else except what it detects. And it's telling us it's a LiPo at 4.20 volts. And it's in a charge task. The cool thing about this one is it automatically does a fast charge or just a regular charge, and then it goes into a 
uh, a balance charge, and then it goes into a maintenance when it's all done. So there's three stages this thing has, which is really cool. Even my big expensive charger that I normally use doesn't have all those functions. So if we wanted to, we could change the modes. Let's just go ahead and go through all the modes here. If I push in on charge, we can also discharge the battery or put the battery into storage. And all you're doing is pushing in to select that. We want to do charge, so we're pushing in charge. We want to go down to battery. If we wanted to manually change it, we can go from lithium high voltage, lipo, lithium ion, life battery, PB battery, or also nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium batteries. So you have all those options. Of course, we have a lipo battery here, so we're going to want to make sure it's on lipo. It may auto detect what battery you have on. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that yet. And then, of course, the current, if you, this is kind of high, so we want to go down. I think by default it was definitely lower than this. I think it was 1 amp by default. But if you want to really take it easy and maintain your battery for best longevity, you're going to want to do, um, say this is a 1300 milliamp battery, you want to do 1.3 amps on this battery. Of course, you can charge it faster, faster, but you're going to lessen the life of the battery eventually. So I'm just going to pick 1.3 amps, that's the optimal charge rate of a 1300 mAh battery. And all we need to do is hit start, click it in, and it's charging. So you can see that the color turns kind of reddish orange, and it says it's charging. And as we're charging, we can see that the voltage down there is changing, it's going to start going up. And if we pull down on here, it's also telling us the resistance. So we can monitor that. It's not going to populate for a while until it's been charging for a little bit. And then we can also go down here and see how many watts is pulling in from the, char the power battery that we're taking from and how many watts are going out from the battery that we're charging to the battery that we're charging. So pretty neat. You get a lot of information here just by clicking through the menu. So there we go. So the ohms, the resistance has populated and we can see all the resistance between each cell. So pretty neat. I'm going to go ahead and let this thing charge. We're also seeing how many milliamp hour ticking away, ticking up, how much it's putting in there. And we're also seeing the rate of charge here, 1.3. Cool thing about this is we can charge it, we can change it on the fly. If we just push this wheel in, we can go ahead and change our current by rotating up, pushing in again, and then we can go ahead and select our current. I'm going to go up to 2 amps, push in, and we should see up here, you see how it's going up to 2 amps, and it's adjusting the charge rate. Just for giggles, let's go ahead and go all the way up and see if this thing can possibly charge this battery at 8 amps. Just for a short while, we shouldn't damage anything, so I'm pushing into 8 amps. And let's see if this thing can get up there and if it maybe possibly kicks on the fan. So we're at 4.2, looks like it's climbing pretty quickly. 6 amps, climbing, 7 amps, nice, so it definitely can push its maximum. So that's 8 amps, it's pulling out of this battery and it's pushing into this battery. If we wanted to check the exact numbers, we can rotate down and look at this. So this is pulling 137 watts out of this battery and it's pushing 128 watts into this battery. So really nicely done. Once this thing starts to heat up, this little fan will kick on. Really nice and efficient little unit here. I'm really liking it. Anyway, I'm going to let this thing charge. I'm going to actually bring it back down to its nominal current. There it goes. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the fan has just kicked on. Now it's pushing some air through there to keep up with the amperage heat. All right, so I'm going to bring this back down to I'm going to go about 2 amps, let this thing charge, and I want to show you guys what it does at the end of the charge. Okay, so this thing's just about done. One thing I forgot to tell you guys about is on the top here, this bar, it's got the percentage of its completion of charge. So you don't normally see this in a lot of the chargers until recently where you actually have a percentage of charge here, so you can kind of keep track of it that way. Um, all the chargers I've had, I've only seen the MAH ticking away, but this is great that it has this um, percentage, of, percentage of charge meter up here, and then up top it just has the model of charger. And over here it's actually telling you uh, the minutes ticking away of how long it's been charging for. 
So any moment now, this thing's at 99%, it should go into its balance mode, and then it's gonna go into its maintenance mode. So I want you guys to um, see what it does. There we go. Okay, so it went into, um, it says fast charge done. So it does do actually a fast charge, and then it's now in a balance charge to finish topping it off. So you can see the amperage over here has gone way down, but it's just gonna be balancing the cells uh, it's going to probably read they're all at 4.20, but it's interesting because it does this for a little bit where the color is now green, and then it changes to blue, I believe, as kind of a maintenance mode. There we go. So you, now it's beeping a couple times to let us know it's done completely, and it changed into blue, and now it's kind of in a maintenance mode, which is interesting because you can see that there's still some amperage that it's putting into the battery. So it's just gonna do that until you absolute, absolutely turn the thing off and maintain the top voltage for the battery. So really liking this charger. Um, I'm gonna be using this a lot now, especially as a portable charger. I do have a larger charger I use in my house, but man, for somebody that's like into drone racing or something, it has a lot of these kinds of little 1300 around there milliamp hour batteries. This is gonna be a great thing to pull around with you in the field. I mean, look at the size of it. It's only, you know, as big as the palm of my hand. So really small and capable charger, in my opinion. And there it goes beeping again. So it's just gonna beep um, occasionally just to let you know that your charge is done and it's gonna keep maintaining your battery. Keep in mind that it will stay kind of in this charge maintenance mode until you go ahead and push in uh, this button here. And that brings it back into off status. Anyway guys, I hope you really liked that review of the ISDT SC608 8 amp little mini portable charger. Very capable. Let's run through a little pros and cons. I guess the only con is it doesn't come with any cables, which isn't too bad because it's only meant to really charge one battery at a time. It would have maybe been cool if they maybe would have um, included one of those little mini balance boards for different types of connectors. Um, of course, it's always nice to have adapters, so you don't have to buy your own adapters, but this doesn't come with anything at all. It's just this charger in the box. All right, thanks for tuning in. Again, I'll have the links down in the description of where you can check the pricing on this and more in-depth specs, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.